Did the IRS send you a letter informing you that you may be eligible to claim credits and a refund? Well, you're not alone. On October 13, the IRS announced they were sending letters to over 9 million potentially eligible families who did not claim stimulus payments, the earned income tax credit, child tax credit, and other benefits. Here's the problem though. They've been sending these letters to people who clearly are not eligible for those tax credits. Hmm. Hi, I'm Noel Lorenzana, your friendly neighborhood accountant. I'm not quite sure why this is happening, but I have some guesses as to why the IRS has been sending letters informing ineligible individuals of tax credits that they may be eligible for. Here's a copy of the letter they're sending out. Allow me to read some of it because it's a little blurry and I apologize. It says, you may be eligible to claim credits and a refund. Our records show that you may qualify for one or more of the credits below expanded by the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. You can receive the full amount of these credits even if you have little or no income. You must file a 2021 tax return to claim these credits, recovery rebate credit, child tax credit, earned income tax credit. If you receive this letter, you might be a little confused because you may have already filed your tax return. It seems that the letter suggests that you may be eligible for these mentioned tax credits whether or not that's actually the case. In fine print, the notice states, if you've already filed your 2021 tax return claiming these credits or were dependent of another taxpayer for 2021, please disregard this notice. If you self-prepared your tax return and you received the letter, you may have actually missed something, so you might want to get a second opinion. If you hired a tax professional, it's normal to think that they made a mistake, but in actuality, at least from what I've been hearing, the IRS has been sending some of these letters in error. I know, if that's the case, it's kind of annoying. This creates additional work for individuals and their tax preparers who now need to investigate the matter. Do know that if your return has yet to be processed by the IRS, that's probably why you received the letter or perhaps it was a data sorting error and they were actually sent in error. I don't have the definitive answer, unfortunately. According to IRS notice IR-2022-178 dated October 13, 2022, starting this week, the IRS is sending letters to more than 9 million individuals and families who appear to qualify for a variety of key tax benefits, but did not claim them by filing a 2021 federal income tax return. Many in this group may be eligible to claim some or all of the 2021 recovery rebate credit, the child tax credit, the earned income tax credit, depending on their personal and family situation. According to IRS Commissioner Charles Reddig, and I quote, the IRS wants to remind potentially eligible people, especially families, that they may qualify for these valuable tax credits. We encourage people who haven't filed a tax return yet for 2021 to review these options. Even if they aren't required to file a tax return, they may still qualify for several important credits. We don't want people to overlook these tax credits and the letters will remind people of their potential eligibility and steps they can take. Hmm. It's a nice gesture and if you qualify for these tax credits, by all means, file a 2021 tax return to claim the credits. The problem is the letter is being sent to people from what I've seen who clearly do not qualify for these tax credits because they either earn too much money or don't have any qualifying children. These and other tax benefits were expanded under last year's American Rescue Plan Act and other recent legislation. Nevertheless, the only way to get the valuable benefits is to file a 2021 tax return. Let me know if you received one of these letters and if so, did it apply to you? So if you received this notice from the IRS, don't automatically assume that someone messed up on your tax return. These automated notices may or may not apply to you, but the IRS is sending them out just to be sure. You can always double check with your tax professional, but don't automatically assume that they missed something. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe. Do check out this video here where I show you what to do if you receive an IRS letter. And if you're watching, consider yourself a member of the Ask an Accountant community. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.